I can't say the word noodles today. and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and in today's video I have a Trader Joe's haul for you guys but we're actually doing it a little bit differently today. We're gonna do a Trader Joe's haul with a few taste tests in between and snack review because we got so many new products and we really want to try them out and we don't want to wait till we do another snack review actual video so we're just gonna try them as we go because we got a lot of new stuff. So if you enjoy this video or find it helpful please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and let's get started. So we did need a lot of like basic groceries. We needed some produce, some meats, and then, like I said, we were mostly going to get a lot of new products that we've heard about. Some specifically I've been sent multiple times, and so I'm excited to show them today and try them. But let's just go ahead and go through produce really quick. It's actually snowing right now, so Adam's outside clearing his car to move it, but he's going to come back in and we'll be trying some stuff in between. But I'm going to go ahead and just get started with some of the groceries. So first, bananas. We are completely out. I actually went to make a protein shake this morning, and I finished the last of our bananas in the freezer as well. So I need to freeze some and we just need some because we like to eat them throughout the week just as a snack either in the morning before the gym or throughout the day. Then I got some blueberries so I just like to get these for my yogurts. That's pretty much the main thing I use them for. Although we did make a fruit salad the other day with some grapes, strawberries, blueberries, and oranges and it was really good and it kind of made me want to do that again. So I might do that with some blueberries. I was surprised to see they still had delicata squash, so I went ahead and grabbed one of these. We like to use these as a side. It's zero points on WW. Pretty much all I do is wash it, cut it up, and I cut it into little slices, lay them out on a sheet with aluminum foil, spray them with some olive oil spray, and then top them with some salt, pepper, and seasoning. And I usually just roast them in the oven, and then it's zero points for us, and it's a good filling side. It almost is kind of like butternut squash with sweet potatoes. That's how we like to have them. I kind of like to dip them in ranch or just like a different sauce and have them with burgers. Then I got this cabbage mix. This is their green and red cabbage with carrots. I like to use this for either a slaw for shrimp tacos or for sesame noodles. So I talk about it all the time. It's a recipe that we have all the time for dinner. It's just one of our favorite meals. It's super convenient, it's super filling, and it's not bad in points. So I use a bag of this every time I make it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to these because you guys already know. Thai wheat noodles, these are our favorite. These are what I use for the sesame noodles. So it comes with three bags, and usually for the batch I use two of them. And I can just use these on my own. Like there are some nights Adam has a basketball game and I just am on my own for dinner. I'll just toss these up in a pan with like some soy sauce and then add some veggies to it and it's a really filling meal and some type of protein. But when I do the batch of sesame noodles, I use this, it's zero points, and then one pack of the noodles is eight points. It's 310 calories, two grams of fat, 63 carbs, and 10 grams of protein. I got some zucchini just for veggie mix and just as a veggie side when we're having like pasta or burgers. I got some grape tomatoes, also zero points. I like to cut these up and add them to bowls. I feel like I haven't had tomatoes like this in a while, so I've actually been craving them. So I'm gonna do some type of bowl with them. Sometimes if I do like a pizza bake or even like pasta salad, I like to use these as well. Then I got some bell peppers. We didn't need many, we still have some left. So I just got two red ones, they looked pretty good. And again, that'll be used for veggie mix. Or when I make the sesame noodles, I need a red pepper as well. So it's just for different recipes. From Trader Joe's, I always get all my canned tomato products. So I don't know why, we just really like them. We prefer the taste. Some tomato sauces give us heartburn and this one doesn't. So this is just the Trader Joe's tomato sauce can. I got four of them this time because we keep running out and I realize I use it for more recipes than I thought. I use it for pasta, I use it for pizza, and I don't know, I just use it all the time and we go through it pretty quickly. But then I also got some cans of the diced and no salt added and diced and fire roasted with green chilies. So this, I actually used one of these last night when I made a veggie mix with corn and tomatoes that I add into taco pasta. Sometimes I just make that veggie mix and use it as a side for bowls. And then usually just the plain ones I use for pasta sauce. Then this is Adam's favorite spicy taco sauce from there. He uses this as just like a hot sauce or whenever he has wraps and stuff. It has a little bit of a kick to it, but it tastes very similar to Taco Bell mild sauce and it's zero points. I love this enchilada sauce. This is just Trader Joe's. It's just like a very generic enchilada sauce, but it adds good flavor. It's only one point for up to a half cup. The serving's for a quarter cup, but usually when I do like an enchilada bake or something, each serving I make, we use a half cup. For a quarter cup, it's 30 calories, one and a half grams of fat, four carbs, 
carbs and one gram of protein. And yeah, we just go through this stuff so quickly. I pretty much buy it every time we go to Trader Joe's now. This was new. So this is their pizza sprinkle seasoning blend. I'm excited for this because a lot of times when I do like a different pizza recipe, whether it's like a pizza bowl or a pizza bake or even like a pizza dia, this will be perfect for that. So I'm excited to try it out and see. I was also thinking this would be really good on popcorn. So I kind of want to try that because we've been on such an air pop popcorn kick. Then we like the Trader Joe's organic ketchup for the serving of a tablespoon. It's one point, it's 20 calories. It's got five carbs and four grams of sugar. And it's just a ketchup option we have found that we like. We do like the Primal Kitchen as well, but when we go to Trader Joe's, we usually pick up a thing of it. Then I was excited to see this. I used to always complain that the roasted red peppers came in too small of a jar and I would go through them in like a day. So they got a bigger jar now. And I'm guessing they're just gonna be the exact same that they always have. They're just in water, not in oil or anything. So they are zero points. I like to use these for Greek bowls. I've actually been using them on sandwiches a lot lately and they're so good on there. So glad I got these and I'm glad that they are a bigger jar now. Okay, I'm gonna try to incorporate some of the stuff that we're trying throughout, so I might go a little out of order. We're gonna go with a dip next. So, this is a vegan salmon-esque spread. It is with capers and dill, plant-based, dairy-free. It is 100 calories for two tablespoons, nine grams of fat, three carbs, and it is four points for two tablespoons. So this is a higher point dip. I actually heard Adam wrong at the store. I thought he said it was two points. So it's higher than what we usually go for when we try dips, but this is something super unique that I just want to try in general. Oh no, I don't know if I'm going to like this. Okay, so Adam's going to come try this right now. We're just going to do it with pretzel crisps. Hello. Yeah, this was my choice, definitely. <laughs> yeah, he loves his smoked salmon everything. It says it's got like smoked salmon in it, or smoked salmon flavor, I mean. Ooh, I didn't know that. Oh man, I don't know if I'm going to like this. I'm kind of nervous. That's going to be really good on a bagel. Yeah, that's or like bagel chips or that's something. That's what we should have it with. So yeah, this is pretty, it's kind of high point. Four points for two tablespoons, but yeah, salmon-esque dip. Scoop and get some. It is vegan though. Cheers. Cheers. That's really good. That dill is very, very overpowering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, you taste like a smoked flavor. Mm -hmm. I think it's good with the pretzels. I don't know, it's not something I totally prefer, but it's really not bad. It's good. It tastes like smoked salmon with cream cheese and dill. It does. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. It's pretty much what it says it is, yeah. yeah. But for four points, it's kind of high. Yeah. But yeah, so it's dairy-free, plant-based, vegan. So if you're looking for that for a dip option, it's something bagel. unique. I think it'd be really good on like a snack board or like you said with a bagel. The bagel. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep going through some stuff, then we'll try something else. All right, cool. Bye. Okay, so moving on, I got some eggs. I just needed these for breakfast. I have been getting egg white cartons and I still have one in the fridge so it's been nice to just kind of bulk up the eggs. I'll usually just crack one, add some egg whites and then it kind of gets a little bit more fluffy and that's all zero points. Then I got some cheese. So my favorites to get from Trader Joe's, they're shredded light cheeses. So we have light mozzarella. This is two points for the serving although it scans as one point. It is two points when you enter the nutrition for one ounce. It's 60 calories, two grams of fat, and seven grams of protein. And then this time I got the three cheese shredded blend. So this has light mozzarella, light Monterey Jack, and light cheddar cheese. And it is 80 calories for an ounce, four grams of fat, and eight grams of protein. And this one is three points for that serving. So I use those for so many different recipes. If I'm making eggs, pizzas, bowls, wraps, Anything I need cheese for, I pretty much use that. Uh, I don't usually buy like bricks or anything like that. I just prefer to get it shredded like this. Then for some meat today, I got just regular chicken breast. Usually what I'll do is just cut these up with some kitchen scissors and then cook them in the pan on the stove. And I'll either leave them as chunks like that and use them for like wraps and bowls and stuff and it's zero points. Or I will shred them and turn them into either like barbecue chicken, taco chicken, something like that. So super convenient to just buy the chicken breast like that. It really is a quick protein I can cook up. And then I got two of the ground chicken that they have. I got a lot of chicken today. I didn't realize I didn't get any ground turkey, but I still had some ground turkey in the fridge. So anyway, this isn't zero points for the serving. It's actually four for four ounces. It is... 170 calories, nine grams of fat, and 22 grams of protein. But it's just another protein that we can kind of mix it up with. Like I said, this is zero, so if I have to use points every once in a while for my protein, not a big deal, and it's a good flavorful option. But then they also had this, which is new. So this is the heirloom chicken, and it is just ground chicken like this, so it's a pound. 90% lean and the employees were just all recommending it. They said it's really good And so I just figured it'd be something else for us to try it is one point higher So it's five points instead of four like the other one, but 
I still think it'll be really good and worth it, and I'm excited to try it out. It's 180 calories, 11 grams of fat, and 21 grams of protein, so again, another high-protein option. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but I'm excited to try it. Then this is their extra lean ground beef. So this is 96% lean. It is 130 calories for four ounces, four grams of fat and 22 grams of protein. And it's three points for that serving. So usually actually when I use this, I make it into burgers and I get five burgers out of it. So they're only two points for the patty. And I just make them the same way I make turkey burgers. So I add an egg, some panko and some seasoning divide it evenly using my food scale, and then I make two-point burgers. And we really like this ground beef, especially the Trader Joe's brand. Then I got some cauliflower jalapeno dip. This is one of our favorite dips to get, just for pasta mostly. Adam actually grabbed this right away because he's been craving hearts of palm pasta, and this is what I use when I make that. So we're gonna have that for dinner soon with some chicken sausage and some veggies. For the serving, it is two tablespoons for 40 calories, three and a half grams of fat, it's got one carb, one gram of protein, and it's two points for that serving. So, like I said, that's pretty much mostly what I use it for, but it's one of our favorite dips to buy. I got some shelled edamame. This is in the freezer section. I use this for poke bowls or just different types of rice bowls or seafood recipes, different things that I kind of just want to bulk up with some protein. So edamame is actually a zero point food. For a half cup, it's 100 calories, two grams of fat, 12 carbs, and nine grams of protein. So it's a really good way to get some protein in. I love the texture and consistency. I think it adds a lot to different dishes. And so I always, always have edamame in the freezer. Okay, we're not trying this one today, but super, super excited to. And speaking of hearts of palm, they released riced hearts of palm. So usually we like the pasta that they have in the boxes like this, but now they have rice and I've been hearing good things about it. So it is zero points for the whole box and that's why I got two. Adam and I will each have our own. That's how we do it when we have the pasta as well. And you pretty much just have to heat it up on the stove and then add whatever you want to it. Maybe we can even do this with the rice, we'll see. But for the entire box, it is 60 calories, it's 12 carbs, five grams of fiber and three grams of protein. So it's a really good option. It's definitely filling. And like I said, you can bulk it up with other ingredients, especially because it's a zero point base. You can add other point foods in and some proteins to make it more filling. Then this is something new that I wanted to try. It is their whole Durham wheat couscous. And for the serving of a quarter cup dry, which I'm guessing will make about three quarter cup cooked, but it is 160 calories, 34 carbs, four grams of fiber, and seven grams of protein. And it's only three points on WW for that serving. So I feel like I can make some really filling meals with this. We both really like couscous. I just don't make it much because I honestly forget about it. And so I'm excited to kind of mess around with this and come up with some recipes to use it for. Even if it's just like a normal rice bowl, we might be able to just sub in this instead as a base and I think it would work really well. And then the organic jasmine rice that I like to buy frozen. So this comes in a three pack of frozen bags. Each bag, it just takes three minutes to microwave and it has two cups in it. So it's always perfect if we're making a meal, we can each get a cup serving. The cup is five points on WW. It's 210 calories, 46 carbs, and four grams of protein. And this isn't something that I use all the time. Like when I have jasmine rice, I usually have it prepped in the fridge, but this is always a good backup to have when I don't have rice prepped. And that's why I like to buy it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try something really quick. It's more of a snacky thing. I realized everything else we have to try is kind of snacky, so I'm just gonna sneak it in in between. But we're gonna go ahead and try these new Apple Chip Duo apples. <laughs> and it says they're just dried, crinkle cut, red and green apples, unsweetened, unsulfured. So let's see. This whole bag is six points on oh. WW. So yeah, the only ingredients are red and green apples. They smell like apples. <laughs> I think these are gonna be pretty basic, just like dried apples. Do you like dried apples usually? Yeah. Uh, the guy who was checking us out though said that they'd be good in peanut butter. So we might have to try that dipping them in some nuts and more or something. But yeah, I don't know, just dried apples. Cheers. Six points for the whole bag. Cheers. Cheers. I can't tell, I think I like the red ones better. I can't tell which one's which. <laughs> Those would be good in peanut butter. Mm -hmm. They're like perfectly crunchy. I mean, six points for the whole bag isn't bad. I don't think, I mean, that might be a good dessert to have or something, like you said, and not some more. That'd be good in your yogurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of things. I, I like them. Not bad. Okay, we didn't give the salmon dip a rating. I would give that a seven and a half, just for personal preference. I'm not a huge fan of that. Nine. Yeah, I knew you'd like that. 
Um, these I would give an eight and a half. I would also give those an eight and a half. I like yeah. those. Yeah, I do too. Okay, now moving on to some more frozen things, which I feel like we always get the most freezer stuff at Trader Joe's because they just have such good appetizer options and freezer meals. But anyway, I got some hash browns. So I like to use these for breakfast. They're really good to just heat up in the air fryer. One of them is four points on WW. It's 120 calories, six grams of fat, 15 carbs, and one gram of protein. These are perfect to make like a breakfast crunch wrap supreme or just like an egg breakfast if you just want to have like kind of a hash brown bacon egg type thing. That's what we like to use these for. They're also good just like on a sandwich or crumpled up in a wrap. So, so many different things you can do with those. They are four points, but it really does make it taste kind of like a fast food meal. I don't know. I really enjoy those. Then my favorite chicken nuggets are these from Trader Joe's. They are their gluten-free breaded chicken breast nuggets. So for the serving of a quarter of the package, which I wanna say is usually like five pieces, it's 200 calories, six grams of fat, 20 carbs, and 16 grams of protein, and it's five points for that serving. So these are raw, I say this every time, they're not fully cooked yet, so you do have to make sure you cook them all the way in the air fryer, but I love to just toss them in and have them as an ingredient in a bowl, or sometimes I'll just dip them in ranch as like a side, or cut up in mac and cheese. We get a lot of different breaded chickens, but these are always one of my favorites to have. These are one of the things we like to get for appetizer night, so they are the organic veggie bites. The serving is six pieces, and it is four points on WW. It's 180 calories, eight grams of fat, 22 carbs, four grams of fiber, and four grams of protein. And this is another thing that we like to have as a side with burgers. So sometimes I'll even make like the burgers, the delicata squash, and then we'll have this too. Or we'll do like some other veggie with it. But it's a good side that I can just toss in the air fryer, move them around every couple minutes, and then they're done. Super crispy, super flavorful, and they're almost just like tots. Like I don't know how to explain them. They're just very tasty and we really like them. We haven't gotten this in a while. So this is their chicken chow mein. And this comes with the noodles, the veggies, the chicken, everything in there. And it has three servings. So for the serving, it's four points. So the whole bag is about 12 points. Uh, usually we just split it between the two of us for like six points. But I do like to add some stuff into it. So sometimes I'll add either like imitation crab or edamame, peppers, onions, just anything to really kind of bulk it up. That's kind of how I always am with just freezer meals. I like to add at least one other ingredient to make it a little more filling, especially like a zero point food. But for the third serving, like I said, it's four points, 200 calories, one and a half grams of fat, 39 carbs, four grams of fiber, six grams of sugar, and nine grams of protein. So it also comes with the sauce in there as well that you add to it, but super easy to throw together and add more to if you wanted to. Then these have become a staple every time we go to Trader Joe's. These are their mini French baguettes. It is 110 calories for one, it's three points. Then 22 carbs, two grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. So usually we'll just throw one in the air fryer for each of us when we're making like a pasta dish or something, especially like hearts of palm, like I said, because that's zero. We can have a breadstick with it on the side for three points. And it just satisfies that bread craving that I have when I have pasta because I always want some type of bread with it. And it's like the perfect serving, perfect, crunchy, flavorful bread. So I really love those. I buy those every time now and they're perfect in the air fryer. This is a new one that we're not gonna try right now but I'm excited to try it out. So this is the stir fry garlicky cabbage. It is 130 calories for one cup frozen. It's three points for that serving. And I think that's because it's got like sauce in it. It's got sugar, it says added. But for the serving, it's 130 calories, three points, nine grams of fat, nine carbs, five grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. And I don't know. I'm just interested to see how it is. This is what it looks like. This looks like there's like a lot of garlic in it. So I'm guessing it's pretty flavorful. And I don't know if we'll use this as a side or what exactly we'll do with it. Uh, but we both really like cabbage. And I don't know. I think it's something that's filling. And this is something interesting for us to try. I don't know what we'll do with it yet though. These are a new one too that we've been buying pretty much every time for whenever we have appetizer nights. These are the artichoke timbales. These are artichoke hearts baked with mozzarella and grana padano cheeses. For one of them, it is three points on WW. It's 130 calories, nine grams of fat, seven carbs, five grams of fiber, and four grams of protein. And it comes with four of them. So usually we each just have two. They are so good. It's pretty much just cheesy artichokes, but super flavorful. Like I said, a good option for appetizers or even like a side dish with a meal. I feel like you could even like scoop these out and use them as like a pasta sauce. They're just super flavorful. So 
These are in the freezer section and we've been getting these a lot lately. Also another new one we've been enjoying, the chicken spring rolls. So for these, it's three points for one or five points for two. It's 100 calories for one of them, four grams of fat, 11 carbs, two grams of fiber, and five grams of protein. And they pretty much just taste like a regular like egg roll, spring roll type thing. I think they almost taste more just like a regular egg roll actually, don't you agree? But they're really good. We just toss them in the air fryer to heat them up. They're not the biggest, but for three points, it's really not bad. And like I said, it goes to five if you have two of them. We buy these every time we go there as well. These are the chicken cilantro mini wontons. For these, the serving is four pieces and it's only one point for that. If you have two servings, which is eight, it's two points, 50 calories, half a gram of fat, nine carbs, and three grams of protein for four of them. So this is another one that if you put these in the air fryer, they're so good. And I had so many people recommend it. It took us so long to finally just do it. And they're so good in the air fryer. We used to just microwave them. Although sometimes I do prefer them microwaved because then they're more just like kind of like steamed, but they do get really crispy in the air fryer and they're good. So this is always a good option. I like to add it to different bowls. Even like when we have this chow mein or something, I might make a few of those as a side. And then these. So again, I said we bought so many appetizers, but we have been loving all of them lately. And we've tried a lot of new ones that we really enjoy. So so these are the ratatouille bites and they're pretty much just like veggies that are breaded and they have such good flavor. I don't know. Again, something we throw in the air fryer. We like to have it as an appetizer night or sometimes as a side with something, but it's just traditional ratatouille ingredients coated in panko breadcrumbs and fried. For four pieces, it's four points on WW. It's 130 calories, seven grams of fat, 16 carbs, two grams of fiber, and two grams of protein. So you can make them quick and easy in the air fryer or the oven, and it's just a good appetizer option. We're gonna try another thing really quick. Okay, so Adam picked these out. These are sweet and spicy pecans. So he loves pecans. He loves spicy and wanted to try these. They are great for salads or snacking. They are higher point because they're coated. Like they have a good coating on them. I'm kind of scared they're going to be hot, but <laughs> for a quarter cup, it's six points on WW, 220 calories. It's got 20 grams of fat, seven carbs, and three grams of protein. Not are high in fat, but mm -hmm. that's what weeklies are for, right? Yep. These are like coated. Oh. They smell good. They do smell good. Cheers. Cheers. It's like, it, that's weird. It hit my tongue. It hit my tongue spicy. Mm -hmm. It's like super sweet and then it's just hot. They definitely have a kick to them after. Yeah, I think, like they said, salads would be good. I think it's something good, like a little crunch. You'll probably just snack on them. It'd be perfect for like one of my little snack bowls, just like a couple in there. They're spicy. They, they it's a, hitting me after. They have like a chili spice to it. It's yeah, good. that's good. Okay, let's try one more thing really quick. So this was something I picked out. And again, we got some higher point things today, but you know, whatever, it's all about balance. Yep. So this is their cinnamon roll drizzled granola. And I don't know if this is new, but I have never seen this before. And it says it's cinnamon roll inspired baked oat clusters with a sweet yogurt flavored drizzle. Mm -hmm. So it's five points for a quarter cup, 120 calories, four and a half grams of fat. It's got 19 carbs, nine grams of sugar and two grams of protein. So yeah, this will be like a dessert granola, but. The picture looks like it. It does. It looks like it's like gourmet. Oh my gosh. Okay, it smells really good. So actually, I'm gonna weigh it. This is like a 30 gram serving, which is five points, so. It's a good little dessert. Yeah. Yeah, for five points, honestly. Well, let's see how it is. Cheers. Cheers. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it almost tastes more like a granola bar. Mm -hmm. The icing is really good on it. The cinnamon flavor, like they yeah. got, that is good. That's really good. It's like, First of all, there's a good amount of drizzle on pretty much all of them, but also, oh, that's why it's got little cinnamon chips. So it's like extra cinnamon. It's super That's amazing. Cinnamon -y. Worth five points. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth five points for that serving for sure. Definitely. Because that was almost like, if you put it together, it'd probably be like a small little bar. Yeah, definitely. But that for was, the drizzle, it's worth it. That was good. I give that a nine and a half. I was going to say nine and a half. <laughs> I that's wish it was really lower good. point, but that was really good. I'd give the pecans like a seven and a half. Oh, I give the pecans a nine. Yeah, they're high point, they're sweet, but I don't like the super kick after the end. <laughs> These have become one of my favorite snacks. I don't know why. I was like so against them for a while because I thought I didn't like them. And now I just love them. But these are the Trader Joe's Crunchy Curls. So they're a tasty lentil and potato snack. Pretty much like little, first of all, I love that they're little curls like this. They're crunchy. I think they could be a little saltier, but they have a little salt to them and they are three points for 31. So it's a good serving, 130 calories, five grams of fat, 19 carbs, and three grams of protein. And yeah, I pretty much have just been having them as like a side if I make like a wrap or sandwich or something, or just throughout the day if I want something kind of salty and crunchy. It's just like the most plain snack. It's also good in dips, but 
I really like them. They kind of taste like potato chips, but I like them. So we got this last time and we really liked it. It is the Many Things Snack Mix. It's five points for the half cup serving, so it is a little bit higher point, but it's a good option again for just a quick salty snack. If I want a quick serving with like a banana or something, it really is good. It satisfies that craving and I like that it has a little sweetness to it. So for a half cup, it is five points, 170 calories, eight grams of fat, 20 carbs, two grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. Okay, so moving on, I needed a trail mix. I definitely don't eat trail mix as much in the winter as I do in the summer. I don't know why, I just crave it more. And like when I'm skating more, I want trail mix all the time. It's the weirdest thing, but I do still crave it a lot. So I got this one. It is the Cashew Macadamia Delight Trek Mix with pineapple, cranberry, and almond. So it is six points for a quarter cup because it's got these big chunks of pineapple that are so good and it is 140 calories, seven grams of fat, 17 carbs, 13 grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. It's just a really good option. Honestly, I think it's missing dark chocolate. Sometimes I'll add some dark chocolate chips in with it, but six points for the serving, and it's something that I like to use my weeklies for. Every once in a while, I just crave trail mix. Then Adam really likes these. So they have the ABC bars that are almond butter, but they also have these that are peanut butter cocoa bars. So they are five points for one bar. He likes to have these at work or like before the gym, but for one of them, it's 160 calories, seven grams of fat, 20 carbs, two grams of fiber, seven grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. And it's just got like this cocoa filling in it and the bar is peanut butter. They're a little dry. Uh, I'm not a huge, huge fan of them, but he does really like them. And he likes the almond ones as well. So it's just another good snack option he can bring to work. We needed some Farabelle's. So they didn't have many options this time, but the two that we had planned to get, uh, they did have. So we were happy about that. Today I got salty peanut and caramel cashew. So I just love to have these after the gym. It's a good, quick, high protein option before or I can like make my meal or something like that. I usually decide whether I'm gonna have a protein bar or a protein shake after my workout. But for one bar, it is 200 calories for both of them. There are eight grams of fat, 18 carbs, and 20 grams of protein, and six points on WW. So both of them are really good. I think the caramel cashew, I don't know what it really tastes like. It's just a good candy bar that I like. I don't know, but the salty peanut does kind of taste like Snickers. So I really enjoy these and we have them all the time. So moving on to the last two things we have today to try and that we got. This is like the main reason that I went to Trader Joe's. I have been sent these so many times since they released them, I guess. It's a new product. But this is the Maple Pancake Flavored Puffs. It is a corn and rice snack and we're guessing it's going to be like like air. So we're excited to try it. I don't know. Like air, it doesn't say it's like a maple flavor, but I'm guessing it's going to be pretty similar. For the serving of one and a half cups, which I think it's less than like air. I think like air is three cup serving, right? I believe so, yes. It's a three cup serving for six points. This is only a one and a half cup serving for five points. So that's interesting, but it might be more coated. We'll see. But 150 calories, eight grams of fat, 18 carbs. It's got four grams of sugar and a gram of protein. I've been so excited to yeah. try these. Okay. And we have like air so we can compare it. First of all, this, I don't know, those look bigger. So that's what they look like. So it kind of looks like like air, like it's a similar size, but it's a little darker, definitely. Yeah. It smells kind of like it, it though. Does smell. Cheers. Cheers. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's not like air. It is not. <laughs> it's not the same, it's not. but it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's much more crunchy. I like that like air like melts in your mouth. Yeah, that's, um, a, that's a big difference. And I feel like like air is a little bit saltier. This has kind of like a buttery taste to mm -hmm. it, but it definitely is more maple. And I just feel like you taste the um, the actual puffs more. Yeah. Like I feel like I can really taste the corn in it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like it tastes like a corn puff. Is that what they're called? Yep. I guess that's what it is. Like this, yeah. the cereal, corn, corn something. You know what I'm talking about? These. Pops. Oh, corn pops. That's what, they yep. taste like these, the, the corn pops. They have like that corn taste, whereas like air doesn't. So I like these. I'll give them an eight. I'll give them an eight and a half. I was gonna give these a nine, but like air is definitely a 10. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep eating it. Yeah. Okay, so this is something that is not very point friendly, but it's better than I expected. It's six points for a square. This Sherry, our girl at uh, Trader Joe's had recommended this. She told <laughs> Adam about it. They had just got them in today and just tried them and said that they were amazing. So they are, peanut butter brookies. So you can see it's a layer of brownie and then a layer of peanut butter cookie. Sounds amazing. For one piece, it's 150 calories, seven grams of fat, 20 carbs, 13 grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. There's some protein in there. <laughs> How did I know you were gonna say that? Because <laughs> I have to justify things. 
And I don't know, honestly, for six points for one of these squares, it does seem like a decent serving because they're doubled up. Like it's oh, yeah. a double cookie brownie. It looks pretty doughy for the cookie though. Cheers. Cheers. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, honestly, the best part about it is the salt on the top. It is. <laughs> it's so good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. And it's it's got salt on the top, if you can see, so that like makes it, yeah, worth it for six points. It's very doughy, like the cookie seems like cookie dough almost, mm. but I like it. It's not peanut butter enough. I feel like you could, no, you could use more peanut butter. It's definitely not, but I like it. It's good. Yeah, okay. Well, that wraps up our haul for today and our taste test Woo. little review. Um, <laughs> oh, we didn't rank the brownie. What do you give it? I'll give it a nine for flavor and points together. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad in points and the flavor is pretty good. I don't think it's bad in points either for a brownie cookie. Mm -hmm. I think I'll give it an eight and a half. I think you could use more peanut butter. Yeah, that's how I am. Yeah, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel and we will see you next time.